Hello kings and queens. I'm back with another video and it's me, Queen J, and this is called Talks with Queen J. Um, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what you guys think about my video. Now, I have an update on the Marquis, or I think his name is Marcus or Marquis McLaughlin case, the 28-year-old man who got shot in Clearwater. So early this morning, Michael Drica was taken into custody. He was booked into Pinellas County Jail on a $100,000 bail. This happened, this incident where Marquis Scott shot happened on July 19th. This is almost a month later that this man is getting charged and getting arrested. But I digress. Um, Michael has avoided jail time because of this self-defense stand your ground law. And, you know, the state attorney showed that the defense, that that defense is not applicable in this case. Rallies and new con news conferences cropped up almost every day to call for an organized arrest. Now, there's also been a whole lot of people protesting. I think Al Sharpton was here last weekend. And also, none of this would have happened if the National Association of the Advancement of Color People and Black Lives Matter did not come in and help protest and help call every day to make this a known, to make it go viral, to make everybody talk about it because this was not right. Now, granted, he was only charged with manslaughter. And also, just because he was charged does not mean he's going to be convicted. But as one of my friends said, at least give us the at least give us a trial at least make us feel like our lives matter even though we know that they don't to you guys at least make us feel like you know we see that something happened and they should get charged for it and arrested because like i said if it was the other way around and a black man shot a white man and claimed stand your ground they're gonna be like oh no what do you mean stand your ground how can you be scared you're an animal blah 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 but I just wanted to come in here and let you guys know about that because when I first heard this news, I was very excited about it. Like, I really thought this man was going to get away with murder and not get charged or anything. Like, I thought it was going to be a whole thing worse than Zimmerman because Zimmerman did at least get arrested and uh, put in jail. Probably not for long, but he was arrested. This man got not, not a nothing, but now he is in jail in Pinellas County, so... Thank you guys who all protested. Thank you guys who all shared and talked about it and, you know, let it grow into something. And now all we can do is hope for the best, hope that he gets convicted and hope that this man goes to prison for killing an unarmed black man in broad daylight in front of his child and his girlfriend. So thanks you guys for listening. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, please uh, comment. Um, let me know you guys' ideas. Let me know if you guys went out to the protest. Let me know, let me know if you guys heard anything, any other information that I haven't said. Um, thank you. I love you guys. Mwah.